Iraq as a state um, is the target of the occupation, that one of its primary objectives has been to dismantle the existing state um, and reduce it to a, to, um, a, a state of, um, of shock. We can see these collective actions as a form of um, memicide against the Iraqi people, a way of wiping out their co collective cultural identity um, in order to replace it with, with a model being imposed in a way that it has been in, in third world countries, um, a model of neoliberalism. Different forms of violence are taking place. One of those forms of violence is specifically um, targeted at, um, we could say, perhaps professional cl classes in Iraq. The Brussels Tribunal has collected um, a list compiled um, with the assistance of, of um, the Iraqi um, University Teachers Union. And they have a database of some 400 names. Most of the, the these are these are a list of ac specifically academics, um, staff at universities. Most of these people have been killed by, um, in, by what we would call professional hits. They've been killed by death squads. To break Iraq, they had to resort to all sorts of brutality and, and criminal violence, like uh, introducing uh, death squads and paramilitary forces. They actually have a force, uh, I think that is, was back in 2007, 144,000 strong, that is under the command of the Americans, the command of the Ministry of Interior, and can also be rented. It's incredible. They have been pointed as some of the worst perpetrators of violence, and as their chain of command is very unclear, uh, it, it, it ultimately, of course, it's operating under the occupation and being armed and trained by the occupation. Um, America's plan is not just about Iraq, it's about reshaping the Middle East, it's about um, making sure of US imperial power for the next century and the Middle East as, the, as a fulcrum of geostrategic power in the world is, is something that they've got their, their talons into and will not let go easily. Iraq is crippled for at least 50 years, if not forever and ever. And um, it, it, uh, it's a weak country now. Oil may be not a success, but that's not the agenda for the neocons deeply, and it's not the, the, the agenda for Israel. So from a neocon viewpoint, who were the real planners of this world, war, sorry, uh, <laughs> which you like the planners of the world also, uh, for them, I think it's a success. People might speculate about the involvement of Israel, um, Saudi Arabia, Iran popularly, but there is, um, whilst I wouldn't, ever suggest that, that an investigation should be prescribed in its limits. Um, I also think that it, it, it is a very, it's an absurd position to start by looking at, at outside parties when we actually have a situation in which um, America has invaded a country, has a motive for getting rid of a class of people, has instituted the apparatus that is capable of doing so, has provided the intelligence that, that is necessary for these things, has nurtured and supported groups like these um, um, armed groups belonging to the INC. So what we need is an investigation that doesn't omit those parties but starts by looking at those parties.